Hey everyone, welcome back. Another day, another competitor framework for React, which in this case is quick, but this is a little interesting. We'll see why that is the case. And yeah, let's just take a look at what quick is all about. And is it really quick or is it worth shifting if you're a React developer, if you're someone who's trying to go for a new framework? Let's take a look. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So you can see the homepage for Quick is at quick.builder.io. This is a framework which is in beta right now. So it's not stable. I mean, it's not in version one yet. You could probably still use it and get along with it, but there could be some API changes. There could be some changes the way this works. So again, this again says that it takes a new approach to performance optimization. Zero loading is one of the features, resumable, lazy loading. What this essentially means is that, for example, if you are doing a Next.js app, you render the SSG version of that static site generation, you send the HTML, and then React has to rehydrate the whole tree to make it interactive. What they are saying is that we don't do rehydration at all right because they they just don't do rehydration for some reason for performance and then whenever you try to let's say maybe try to interact with a component or something then they would probably lazy load the effects or you know click effects or keyboard events or mouse events or anything so their approach to performance optimization is just loading one kilobyte of javascript to make it work and then rest of the js loads lazily now one of the reasons i was interested about knowing more about quick is because they say you know react you know quick that means the syntax which they are following would probably be a lot similar to what you would experience in your react apps then of course a bunch of testimonials and batteries included thing it's built on top of wheat then quick takes a stab at current frameworks how current frameworks work in on which i'm not sure like what site what's sort of algorithm are they mentioning as on because even the diffing of a tree which react does it's i think it's more than on we need o1 i mean this this needs more clarity for me in order to understand what exactly they are saying and then finally they take a stab at react hydration is a pure overhead which is like a bold statement because react is kind of like built on top of hydration only so yeah again and then you know people who are actually the ones who have done stuff. Creator of AngularJS, Angular at Google. These are the few creators uh, who are working on Quick. But yeah, I mean, one of the things which I have seen is important in today's time, if you want quick <laughs> adoptability, no pun intended, is that you have to build on top of something which people already know, right? A bun, for example, the bundler got real popular because bun does not break Node.js ecosystem. It builds on top of that. It just, it's a drop-in replacement. Similarly, if Quick is something which is a drop-in replacement for React, but also brings a lot of benefits, then of course, I mean, that's that's a good thing to go about. So you can see here's a very quick example of how Quick works. You have a server-side file, you have a root file, and you have an app file. So again, like I mentioned, Quick works on the fact that, you know, they're just gonna render as much as they can within the HTML on server. And once that happens on the client, they're gonna, lazily render or lazily attach events or anything and everything which you have to do to so as to use minimal javascript they'll not rehydrate the tree like react does but they'll probably follow a similar syntax to how react works right it's jsx to begin with uh, the syntax is a little different in terms of how you create components and stuff but yeah that, that is something which you have to follow again this is a simple example using typescript and which uses a counter kind of app so you can see this example shows you how to use their own custom hook or something whatever they call it use watch to track how the variable changes and again i mean yeah it is kind of similar to react you can see the concepts of hooks use store use box uh, use watch we have jsx as well but not really right because that's okay that this is functional as a as a app but you need to be much closer to say it like you know you know react you know quick that is definitely not the case. You will have to learn these things. You will have to learn some basic core concepts on how to manage state, for example, or how to ch look for variable changes, because this is definitely not use effect. This is not following that particular API. So yeah, I mean, but that's that's the thing. Again, a relatively simpler example over here is the counter example, which you can see uses the use store API 
and you just increment the counter which looks this this thing looks pretty much like how signals for example work you just create a signal you use it and then you just increment the value and it's just gonna increment but obviously the underlying api would be a little different and you can see the the interesting thing over here is that let's say if i go back to this counter example you can see that it renders on the client and there is no js loaded right when i click on this that is the point when the javascript file loads at least you know that is what they tell us so it is interesting because just displaying that page does not probably load that javascript which is required to increment this interesting but again something which is can boost performance but i'm not sure how this would work with latency for example if you are on a slower network what happens when i keep on clicking it does it show a loader like is, is it configurable at all or does it you know just uh, loads and then fires multiple events together a lot of things to consider once we get into those edge cases so yeah again i mean it's it's getting relatively popular as well it has just been launched into beta stage and it says that it is the html first framework instant apps of any size with approximately one kilobyte of javascript because the secret is they don't load javascript at all in the initial build yeah that's pretty much it for quick a quick video on quick which walks you through what this new framework is about do you think it has the potential to replace or you know just impact javascript or not javascript or react in a way let me know what you think in comments below that is all for this video i'm gonna see you in the next one really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching